Good evening, everybody. My name is Brian Seville, and I am president of the Triumph Music Honor Society. We would like to welcome you to our high school concert featuring our treble chorus, mixed chorus, and wind ensemble. Uh, we hope you thoroughly enjoy our night of music. Executive Board of Triad. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic of the Republic of the United States, one nation, one God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Executive Board of Triad. We'd like to introduce our Director of Fine and Performing Arts, Mr. Greg Wojnarowski. Thank you very much. I'd like to pose for our members of the Triad. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Farmingdale High School for our second winter concert here at the high school featuring our choirs and our wind ensemble. Before we begin, I just want to make sure that I do a few thank yous. Um, there are some people here who, without their support, none of this would be possible. Our Farmingdale music program would not be on the high level that it is without these people. First, I'd like to thank all of you, the parents, the grandparents, the friends, the neighbors that are here to support our children performing for you tonight and supporting music education. Next, I would like to thank all the members of the Board of Education for their undying support. Tonight in attendance, we have Arlene Sodi, Suzanne D'Amico, and Michael Goldberg. Thank you for being here. I also would like to thank all the members of our central administration and my fellow directors for all of their support. And with us in the audience tonight, we have our Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources, Dr. Sam Thompson. We have our Deputy Superintendent, Mr. Glenn Zakian, with us. And our District Leader, our Superintendent, Mr. Paul Defendi. I'd also like to thank all the members of our building administration, Arlene Martinez, Carla Stilwell, and with us this evening, Chris Patronaggio and Jed Herman, our principal. In the back, working the lights, the sound, with his crew, I'd like to thank Mr. Joe Hassett for all that he does and making sure the live stream is working tonight. Thank you, Joe. Round of applause for that brass choir that was performing out before the concert. It was incredible. I think this is all night and really puts you in a holiday mood. Now, that brass choir had some big kids in there. I noticed Mr. DeMassi, Gina Pelletieri, Dave Abrams, and our superintendent performing on the baritone horn and trumpets. Give them a round of applause for putting all that together. That was a lot of fun. Before we begin, I just wanted to let you all know, because it gets a little awkward when you're up there as a conductor with the students, we're taking a picture for the yearbook, and Life Touch is here to take a picture. So before they perform, um, up all the way up in the booth, they're going to get a signal. So you'll see all the kids staring up top, and we will take a picture before each performance of each group. Okay, I think... We are ready to perform and begin our concert. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a program, but I'd like to introduce to you a very talented group, the Taylor Acapella 
under the direction of Ms. Jess Mishkin. Enjoy the concert.
To save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. <laughs> One more time, how about a great round of applause for Alex Taylor, Dr. Taylor, that was amazing. And I can see the members of our treble choir are getting in place on the risers. Ladies and gentlemen, our treble choir under the direction of Mr. Ed Kozlowski and accompanied by Pat Fasciano on the piano. Enjoy.
is also, I feel, a, a beautiful piece of literature here. It's called It Feels New. This beautiful piece, profound in majestic simplicity, invites us all to relive the magic feeling we felt as children when the first snowfall arrived. We hope that whichever winter season this may be for you, that magical feeling returns.
who are wonderful company to have to have
Here I am again. I have another confession to make. I just love being on stage, so I gotta get another run of this, all right? So I'd like to introduce you going on stage are members of the Farmingdale High School Jazz Chorus. And normally we don't perform during the winter concerts, but I felt so badly because unless you knew about the group and unless you'd be going to the uh, February 15th concert, we did not even know we had a jazz concert until May of next year. So I said, that's, you know, that's criminal. Let us give you guys a holiday treat. So please enjoy this performance by the members of the Farmingdale High School Jazz Chorus. texts like I am that the uh, live stream is not working at the moment so we're having some technical difficulties with it and they are working on it and rest assured anybody that's at home uh, that's texting you about it the, the, the concert is being recorded 
and they will be able to view the concert later, and they will be linked up later to watch the concert. So that's the good news. But right now, people at home are not able to watch the concert live, but it will be up there. Okay, our next group, as you can see, is getting onto the choir, excuse me, onto the choir risers. Our mixed chorus under the direction of Miss Jess Mishki. Enjoy. Hi everybody, good evening. Thank you so much for being here tonight. My name is Jessica Mishki, I'm the director of the Mixed Chorus. And as they're filing on, I just wanted to introduce and explain our first song a little bit. So this is the Mixed Chorus. There's 97 students that are in it this year, ranging from grade nine to 12. And it has been such a wonderful year so far. I tell them all the time what a great year we're having. And I'm so excited for them to sing for you tonight. Our first song that you'll be hearing tonight is called Tundra. It's a song we tried to start in 2020 when we were here in the auditorium 12 feet apart with half of them virtual. It didn't really work out so well, so we decided to bring it back this year and it will be our opening piece. It's inspired by the cold, barren tundra of Norway in the cold winter months. And the poem that they'll be singing is Wide, Born, and Weathered, Sacred Expanse, of green and white and granite gray, snowy patches strewn, anchored to the craggy earth, unmoving while clouds dance across the vast eternal sky. And we were so fortunate to not only have our incredible accompanist Joe Granzino playing piano, but we also have a string quartet joining us tonight. So please, a round of applause for our string quartet. Let me just introduce them. It's Robert Baldwin, violin one, Caitlin Heck is violin two, Madison Crew, viola, and Ryan Sweeney, cello. And it also features one of our students, Jenna Hamelman, on the solo tonight. So come on down, Jenna. We are ready, thank you.
Thank you. I'm glad we finally got to complete that song <laughs> after two years. Um, the next two pieces, I'll just introduce both and we'll sing them back to back. The first song is Joy to the World. You may know it. It's a very cool arrangement though because the sopranos and altos in the middle kind of sound like bells and it's a lot of fun. So Joy to the World followed by the first Noel, made popular by the Pentatonix. And the solos in First Noel are Makai Jones, right up there, uh, Trinity Babino, right, Trinity, Trinity Babino, um, Maui Kina, and also Maui, Maui Kina, and Joe Magazzo on the solo. And it also features Dom Catone doing vocal percussion for the first time. So we hope you enjoy both of those songs.
our next piece, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge some students that were recently accepted into some pretty incredible honors in the state, in the East Coast, in the country. So um, first and foremost, I want to kind of go in chronological order of how this happened. We had three students from the mixed chorus that were accepted into the all national mixed chorus, meaning they were a part of a chorus from, with kids from the United States. They were chosen across the country. So we had three from Farmingdale. So give a wave, Rebecca Kajeski. chorus and vocal jazz, which is based off of their NISMA scores um, that they performed this past April and May. So in the All-State Mixed Chorus, we had bass Makai Jones at <laughs> We had alto Gilbert Simmons. And in the vocal jazz for the second year in a row of this Super tiny, 22 students in the vocal jazz, right? 22? Yes. Grace Lazicki for the second year in a row. <laughs> I also need to acknowledge, because it's such an honor, Kylie Pacase, who was an All-State alternate this year. Awesome. <laughs> a couple of weeks after we come back from the December break, many students will be going to all county. And from the chorus, we actually had 25 that got into all county for vocal, which is all throughout Nassau County. So if you're in all county for vocal chorus this year, raise your hand to be acknowledged. There's so many. <laughs> into the All Eastern Chorus, which is a chorus made up of the East Coast, the top students across the East Coast. So, some of these names may sound familiar, but in representing Farmingdale in All Eastern, in April, we have Alto Gilbert Simmons, Alto Rebecca Kinjeski, Alto Malikina, Alto Grace Lazicki, so proud of all these accomplishments this year. So our next song is called Like the Legend. I sang it in high school and I always remembered loving it and having a lot of fun with it. There's text in both Hebrew and English and it once again features our incredible accompanist, Mr. Joe Franzino on piano.
Thank you so much. Our last song is called Gaudete. Um, the percussionists are setting up right now for that. So while they do that, I just again wanted to give a few thank yous to administration, Joe Hassa with the mics, lighting, um, Mr. Warnikowski, all of my amazing colleagues, um, my middle school colleagues, and besties, Mrs. Danielle Tucker and Mr. Eric Pauls, who are right there in the audience. I always appreciate you both for all the input always and for the support and guys are the best. Love you. Okay. And of course we have to acknowledge my other bestie, Mr. Joe Franzino. Oh, yeah. an unbelievable piano player, plays things that even if I practiced my whole life, I still would not be able to. But such a collaborator, such an inspiration for me and all these students, helps me run sectionals, gives feedback. He's just my partner with the mixed chorus, and we're so lucky to have you, and we love you, Mr. Francino. Thank you. I have to thank these students for all their hard work. It's been a lot of fun. I'm having a great year with you all. It's a joy to work with you all every day. Thank you. I'm so excited to learn more music, work towards NISMA, music in the parks, all the fun things. And thank you to you for supporting them in their musical endeavors. We, I, I, we all in Farmingdale High School and in Farmingdale can't do what we do without your support, so we appreciate it. So our next song that we're doing is called Gaudete, because we're almost ready. It is actually the most ancient Christmas carol composed in the 1500s. And the text is in Latin, and Gaudete translates to joy. And it features four percussionists who are setting up. Lily Scalfani, Ava Zimmet, Frankie Scalaza, and James Hamilton. Thank you for being here tonight. We hope you enjoy Gaudete. Happy holidays.
Exceptional performance by our mixed choir. Let's give them another big round of applause. <laughs> As Miss Mishki said, with all the students that are in all counties, so many of them just from this one group, so many from our high school, uh, middle school, and elementary school. In fact, we had 103 students from the Farmingdale School District selected for all county this year who will be performing in January. 103. A lot of Dale and you surprise for sure. But when you hear groups like this here at the high school that are that incredible, we have such incredible teachers who train them and work with them to make them sound as musical as what you just heard in this incredible musicianship. How does that happen though? It's not just what happens here. It's what happens in the middle school and what happens in the elementary schools. And our teachers work so hard to train them from an early level in their general music classes, as well as when they take chorus, orchestra, and band. So I know a lot of them are out there, but our music teachers throughout the district, elementary teachers, middle school teachers, give a wave and let's give them a big round of applause for all that they do. So very proud of this district and very proud of our teachers and our program. I wanted to let you know that NISMA is going to be this spring and it's going to be early. It's going to be in March on March 24th and March 25th. It's a weekend, Friday and Saturday night. And I have good news for all of you. NISMA will be hosted right here at Farmingdale High School. So that's the easy for you to get your child to perform at NISMA. And now is the time that they should be talking to their teachers uh, this week, if not tomorrow, and next week about what piece they would like to play if they haven't done so already, so they can use the holiday break and prepare for NISMA. But it will be right here, we will be hosting. We're going to involve all of our Tri-M students to help and it's going to be a great experience hosting this one here in Farmingdale. Also, I wanted to share with you a great experience that we had last Sunday. Last Sunday, we took a small group of tuba players and baritone horn players on the middle school and high school level to New York City to perform with about 300 tuba and baritone horn players at Rockefeller Center right by the Christmas tree at Tuba Christmas, and this was a wonderful experience. Farmingdale got three shout outs in front of probably a thousand people or more that were at Rockefeller Center. And I wanted to tell you what those three shout outs were. Farmingdale was shout out one of the biggest groups to attend from a school. 
We also were told we were the two of the youngest players to perform. We had two uh, sixth graders there who were the youngest. And our superintendent, only superintendent joining us playing baritone horn at Tuba Christmas along with myself. We had such a great time. So thank you to Paul Bethany for playing with us and joining us. Thank you to Dave Abrams, Erica Hartman, and Gina Pelletieri for putting all that together and providing that great experience for our tuba and baritone horn players. And there's one more bit of information. Well, my ensemble is almost set up. One more information, it's um, all district concerts. All district concerts have not happened at least since I've been here in the last two years uh, because of the pandemic. But the Old District Concert is back and it rotates between band, orchestra, and chorus. And the last one that we had, I believe, was in 2019 where the chorus had their Old District Concert. And this year it's back and it's going to be our orchestra. So we will have our Old District Orchestra Concert at the high school on Thursday, February 9th at 7 p.m. And we are very, very excited about that. All right, it looks like our wind ensemble is ready to perform. So at this time, ladies and gentlemen, I turn it over to our wind ensemble under the direction of Miss Gina Pelletieri. Enjoy. <laughs> Hello. Good evening and welcome to uh, the Wind Ensemble portion of tonight's concert. I am so proud of the students on stage. I just wanted to take a moment to thank them because we don't, we don't start in September with Wind Ensemble music. We have marching bands, so, and I see a lot of you out in the audience. I haven't seen you since you were chaperoning band camp. So it's good to see you again. And I just wanted to thank these kids for a successful marching band season. We have 285 kids in the marching bands. It comp comprises of the Wind Ensemble Symphonic Band and Freshman Band, and they did such a wonderful job this year. We had our Newsday Marching Band Festival, which was completely successful. And the Pep Band went all the way into December, pretty much, with the football team uh, who won championships. So we had a very, very, very busy three and a half months. And the reason why I'm saying this is because on top of all that they had to do, they're working on college level literature. The piece that we're about to perform, David Gillingham's With Heart and Voice, is, is a college piece. And some, some high schools can't even work it up in the spring. And these guys are so ambitious that they were able to do it for a December concert. 
So they continue to push me, they continue to push themselves um, to, to limits that are very, they set a very high bar. Um, so what they do is they come and they practice during their lunch periods, they practice at home, and they just really, really care about the, the music and the art form. So for that, I just wanna, if you guys could help me thank them for their dedication to the lunch practice. Mr. Franzino for playing piano with us. Thank you, Mr. Franzino. And I want to thank my colleague, Matt DeMasi. Mr. DeMasi, thank you for filling in and uh, for being an amazing colleague. Thank you, Mr. DeMasi. And lastly, so before we perform this epic, epic, amazing work, I just want to say, Kelsey, if you're watching, we love you from the Wind Ensemble, and we wish you a speedy, speedy recovery.
Okay, we have a, told you that was epic, right? Uh, they did a great job. Just a little bit of a stage change, and we're gonna start. Yeah. Okay, so this next portion of our concert became the Christmas extravaganza all these years ago. Um, I was reminiscing with uh, Mr. Zakian about when this all started. And I got here in 2006, and he became principal in 2007. And the first year that he was principal, we were doing Nightmare Night Before Christmas, and uh, Mr. Kramer was reading. And I said, oh, it'd be great to have a Santa. So Glenn dressed up as Santa. And I saw what a ham he was. And I was like, we could take this places. Let's see what we could do. So then the next one was sleigh ride. And so we started off small. Uh, it was Mr. Glenn Zakian, Kathy Keevan, shout out to Kathy Keevan's old school, and a very, very young Sam Thompson as the assistant principal, so probably like 2009. And they would have to come out of the wings in sleigh ride, but it up, 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 whip. But, uh, so we started off small, and then it just grew and grew and grew ever since then. And uh, we did so many, but just to name a few, I know Mela Kalikimaka was definitely Glenn Zavian's favorite, the Hawaiian Christmas. Uh, we also did the Grinch, we did Home Alone, we did Charlie Brown. So on his last year as principal, which was 2016, we did Polar Express. So now that he's de deputy superintendent, I figured let's reprise the role because he was such an amazing conductor. You'll see, he looks exactly like Tom Hanks. You'll see, <laughs> uncanny. And uh, his performance in all of these, these shows just inspired me to do more and more. And he would be at a, like a barbecue and I'd be like, what are we doing at the end of the year? What are we doing for Christmas? What are we doing for Christmas? So um, I really fed off of his energy and it really just developed into what you're gonna see tonight. Um, he's definitely a, a role model and an inspiration to me. And um, I'm really happy to be back collaborating with him. So this is Mr. Glenn Zathian reviving his role as the conductor in Polar Express. We hope you enjoy. Of course, this is the Polar Express. <laughs> 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 
Wow, was that magical or what? That was an incredible production. Unbelievable. All right, let's get all the kids in the audience to kindly come on forward and join us here on the stage. Come on up, kids. Santa Claus has something for you.
gentlemen, happy holidays, all the best, a safe holiday season to all of you. Congratulations to all of our talented students and our talented teachers here this evening. Have a wonderful holiday season. Thank you.